Hello everyone, I'm D and welcome back to my channel if you are a loyal sketches. Hi, how you guys doing and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hello again, <laughs> how are you doing? And as you guys can see from today's title, I will be redrawing my first digital OC. I'm not sure if this is my first one, but I think this is my first serious OC. And I decided to do this because I wanted to see my progress. I wanted to see how much better I have gotten and how my art style has developed. Now, I'm so sorry for not posting a video in a while, but I am getting better at the consistency. I really have tried because... A little hurricane, not a little, a big hurricane called Beryl decided to step foot in my nation and that resulted in me not having any electricity and a lot of stuff. But the video is here and that's all that matters. So before I continue talking, this is the drawing that I will be recreating um, it has some hints of blues and I think this character is called Aria and she's supposed to have powers and um, use these powers to create anything that she wants uh, things that I found really difficult when just starting out doing digital art which like a couple years ago arms hands eyes nose i still struggle with hands in the second pose you guys will see my struggle real soon i just didn't like it and the whole anatomy thing you know it was just really not it i still am slacking from practicing anatomy but i have I'm not saying that I have not tried practicing, but what I really haven't done that much since I've started digital art is male anatomy. For some reason, I just find it extremely difficult to draw the male figure. I know it's vice versa for some persons. Some persons are more advert at drawing male and while others are female. And for me, it's yeah, I'm definitely better at females. Now, while doing this recreation, there were certain things that I wanted to tick in the box or to check and see if I have improved on this area because it was definitely wonky in the first drawing. So I definitely wanted to see if I've improved on my lines, my line art, because those lines were extremely wonky and shaky they were not confident lines i don't even remember if i sketched i probably did but it probably was physically first and then digitally after that so i've definitely improved on that area definitely have taken more time in creating more precise lines and i have learned some shortcuts that really <laughs> help with my process for example copy and paste is really one of my greatest friends definitely my bestie so for the eyes i definitely just draw one eye now and just select it and copy and paste not saying that i don't draw two eyes sometimes but that's in the the sketching area maybe but now when doing line art i definitely use that feature also for the second pose I also may select, say I do two poses, I may select one, um, the face, and copy it to the second segment. Yeah, I also wanted to see how I have improved with shading. Um, I'm not sure if I said coloring, I think I said coloring. Shading, and also my art style if it has changed if it has progressed if it's the same thing or 
it's the same thing, but it's just um, a more matriculated or a more, yeah, improved version of that style. Something that I wanted to see um, improve in this is the magic, the little magic bubble thingy on the second pose. I think it has improved, but not really that much. But it does look better than the first one, I can say. Something I also wanted to improve was the tattoo. Uh, <laughs> in the first drawing, the tattoo was definitely a piece of work. <laughs> it was not good at all, but I didn't know what else to do, what better to do. I tried to use Dwayne The Rock Johnson's tattoos as a kind of inspiration but in this drawing i definitely changed it and just did my own thing because i still am not that good at tattoos but it is definitely better it definitely looks better to me and um, i really like that section uh something i've also improved with is the line art as i said before I don't just use the hard digital pen. I've experimented with different brushes. So I use the pencil or different brushes. I can't think of them right now, but in this one, I used the soft pencil, I think, for this. Also, areas that I have improved in is the how lighting works and how color works. I would say color theory. Um, coloring is definitely my favorite thing now to do uh, in digital art. That part really makes me feel extremely proud of the work and say that all the hours I sit down and draw this for was all worth it. I definitely become i won't say an expert but i have gotten really better at combining colors putting them together and i really think that a course that i took in in school actually helped me with that and also of course practicing and getting better you guys can comment down below and tell me how you have improved over the years with your art or anything per se if you guys have any tips or advices to help me improve i would really appreciate it especially on how to grasp the male anatomy and also the tattoos and the whole work i have also added or you know changed to my current digital art is by adding signatures because before i didn't add any signature or any watermark to my art but now you know with ai and the whole works and people scamming and taking your art it is really important that you guys sign your art in some way shape or form if you'd like to see um the comparison to see how much i've improved uh, you can stay for the end of the video to see the comparison. If you guys have any video suggestions or video ideas that you guys would like to see me do, make sure to comment it down below because I really want to make videos that are fun for me but also entertaining for you guys to watch. Based on the finished result, I can say I'm extremely proud of my drawing and also a bit shocked at how much i have improved i know that i have improved but i haven't sit down to actually watch or to compare my art now to what it was before as many artists don't take the time to commend themselves and to appreciate their growth and all the hard work that they put in to get where they are and to get better.
For this section with the shading, I was trying to make it look more, what should I say? Not so flat like before. So I was trying to play around with a different color. So I used dark blue and then I used pink and purple on the clothing to kind of make it look a bit 3D, not that much because 3D really isn't my style, but it doesn't have to be fully 3D to not look flat. So I was trying to change that and I would say that I liked the outcome of it and everything. The white t-shirt. I had some issues there with the grey. I was using the airbrush, right? I had a little challenges there and I also used light blue to, to do that. But overall, I think it was a success. Well, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much. If you have made it to the end, comment blue hearts and purple hearts. I really appreciate you guys. And until next time, goodbye.